Hello guys, this is Crack for Brain and welcome to Let's Play Alan Wake Part 3. So, here we go. It's something, alright. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted oh. to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, fuck. She's a bitch. I don't know why, but she is a bitch. I said. Alright, so go to the cabin. I think this is the cabin. Open the lock. Come on. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? You are so sure thing. Busy. I'm take on it. it. Take it. One minute. Take it in your face. In your face. Get the power on. Alright. I think this is a... There. Here's a switch, I think. Hello? Right. Anyone here? No. Both to our luck. Alright. So let's go up. Ooh, fancy. Alright, let's enter here. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Alright. Here is where is where we gonna fuck. Alright. So nothing here. Let's see here. For a moment the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Oh fuck. Shit. Shit. Damn. Examine. Examine. Alright. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Alright. So the power cable goes to that shed over there. Alright, so I think there. Alright, so there is. Alright. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay, I'll look right. around a bit. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. I hate her. I it was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Yeah. I am so pretty. So pretty. Fuck you. I thought Fuck we could be happy you. here. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, baby. I think that I know what you mean. Oh, oh well, God. hello there. I'm oh, not the surprise. Fuck. It's in the study. Go take a look. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I think okay. Oh, fuck. You're a motherfucker. You're a motherfucker. Surprise! What is Alice? this? Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery bitch, would get you bitch. past. Bitch, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. Shut up, There's a shut local up. doctor, I Dr. I Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's yes, not like that. She's a That's bitch. not. Whoa, fuck. Alan? Alan? I don't, you, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Yes, you're a bitch. God Fucking damn bitch. it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Yes, yes. <sighs> you're fucking stupid, too. <sighs> damn it. Damn, bitch. Fuck. Alice! 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 Yes. The 
cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. I'm coming, motherfucker. It's all right, I'm coming. What the hell? Run, 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 run. Are you fucking tired? No, no! Come on, come on, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. He left you because you have a small penis. Oh no! <gasps> All right. I am a badass. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up, Alice. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Yes, she is dead. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Everything is dead in this fucking game. Um, what is this? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug she face on the cover either. And she is a motherfucker too. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Yes. So this is gonna be a fucking... Damn. Car, you don't have a cell phone, you don't have a wife, wife, and you don't have a penis. Alright, I don't have anything. So, go, go. Hello? Shit, my eyes. Oh, fuck. Hello? Hi. Someone there? No, it's nobody there. Suspicious. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I what was the named fuck? the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh, I think I understand. No, really, no. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Oh, fuck. This shit is fucked up. All right, let's go. Yes, nobody cares. So, all right. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. All right. So, I think this is all for today. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you like the video and leave a like. So, bye bye.